Morning diggers. I'm at the same spot I was at on the last video. Just wanted to show you right here. This is a foundation. This looks like this was probably the doorway right here with this one big rock right here. But foundation goes all the way across and over into there. You can see I don't know who did this, the loggers, the forest service, but they just scooped out a lot of this area. Took out trees, I don't know why, and then stashed this huge slash pile right on top of the old foundation. And I think there may have been some more buildings in here. And they were just, they used to do this, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago. They just wipe out sites and destroy him for what reason i don't know but anyways we'll see what we can get today got quite a bit of stuff on the last one so maybe some coins are in here finding that coin purse and that dime bank so might get lucky we'll see back in a bit all right i'm not doing too bad so far got some nice shell casings Oop. different calibers and I just got this looking like it's going to be a chisel and yep cool I love these I've never found one quite like this alright awesome all right, back in a bit. Now I just pop this out right here. Looks like some type of fork. Wow, very different. Really heavy duty. Look at that. that bar on the back of that thing. Wow been like a big serving fork for slabbing a big chunk of meat on your plate all right clean her up later see if we can find any markings cool back in a bit all right guys it's been been a while I've just been going around the whole area just seeing how far the signals go and I just, this here little piece was just barely under the ground, if at all. Another uh, garter belt situation. And it's got writing on it. Let me see what it says. Ah, I'll show you in the roundup. Good shape, though. Cool. Back in a bit. All right, just uh, pop this little guy out of the hole. Thought it was just a washer. It was ringing up 82, 83 on the AT Pro. Thought it really had something, but on this side, it's got, oh, hold it still. I'm sure you can see that. MN Company 50, I don't know what what that's all about hopefully I can look that up so cool thing I found today so far awesome back in a bit all right I was going for a target and I uh, dug this up that's a crucible it's what they use to uh, determine how good their materials they were mining were. They'd heat it all up and do an assay test on it and these. It's pretty cool. Haven't found one of these in a long time. Alright, right underneath it, the target looks like another pick. Pick head anyways. Cool. Oh, this one's even better than the other one. This one's like new. Alright. Awesome. All 
right, on to the next. All right, now the roundup. The four horseshoes from big to little. Pretty cool, it's a neat little one. Really worn. All right, and this piece here, I have no idea. Looks to me like it could be a heavy duty flag holder, but probably not. Pretty cool. Part to a wagon wheel, spoke wagon wheel. Big iron pin, couple chisels. Yeah, nice pick head. Really like finding those. This piece was pretty cool. It's a horseshoe that, well, I don't know what it's for, but looks like a blacksmith pounded it into a, looks like a big staple now. I don't know. Pretty cool, though. I love finding stuff like this. And this piece here, it's solid brass. Don't know what it's for. Could have been the top. I don't know, it could have been on a, a stove. Went around the stove pipe and sat up on top for decoration just off the stove. It's hard to say. I'm going to try to bend it back in the shape. Looks like a crown, kind of. Pretty cool. Old bottle top and this fork. I love this fork. Pretty cool. And another bell. I don't know what. I gotta figure out what these spells are for. I don't know if maybe it was telegraph or to ring to let them know they're getting a message or I don't know. This piece, don't have any idea. I thought it was a napkin holder at first, but I don't think so. And top to some kind of seasoning or powder. And the crucible. And some uh, garter belt clips. Pretty cool. This one here is, uh, I think it was 1895. It's on there somewhere. Really hard to see. This button, I didn't show you. It was in one of my last videos. I just didn't get it out and see it. But. You can see it's got, I don't know, it looks like a A in the middle with ER. It's got gold gilt, two piece. Pretty neat looking though. Some other little buttons, shell casings. This one was even a dropped one, 32 caliber. And these here. Found these all in the same little spot and they are unfired. Kind of weird. Well, maybe they needed the lead or the powder, I don't know. It's kind of strange that they would rob them like that. And then this little, uh, this is a, found out this is a little trade token from uh, Chicago. It was Mills. Uh, novelty company and they were like I think 1905 to 1930 and I found one real similar to this one it had like a rim around it and the 50 or the 5 and the 0 were different style than this one and plus the other one that I found online had a had two more letters at the bottom I could not find this one they made slot machines and about anything that you could put money in and maybe get something back or gamble or something. But it's pretty cool history. All right, guys. That's it. It's getting hot here. Today's like, geez, I don't know, 70, 72. So getting nice you can see the tree over here just book these uh, apple trees well they lost most of their stuff now or their blooms all right we'll see you later thanks a heck of a lot for watching and hope you'll stay in for my next video 
So, all right, have a good day, and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.